The idea of this movie is about two guys who didn't become the guys they wanted to be. And it's very autobiographical for me. I'm, I'm still not that guy I've always wanted to be or thought I was going to be. And so I love the idea that these two guys are in L.A. and they don't have any money and they, their self-worth is gone. And not premeditated, they start pretending to be cops in L.A. And basically it starts escalating more and more and more where it starts to get dangerous. And that's what I always loved about this movie is that two guys pretend to be cops for fun, for kicks, for adrenaline, to get in a little bit of excitement, and then they mess with the wrong people. A couple days before Halloween, my costume designer at the time uh, got me a real LAPD uniform. And my buddy and I walked around LA, and it was just incredible, the sense of power, the sense of authority. And I, I'm that type of guy who kind of takes advantage of things when, when, when I know there's an opportunity. And it was fantastic. I was single at the time, so it was very easy to talk to women on the street. And uh, the abuse of that power I thought was really, really funny and very entertaining. And I have a very kind of messed up sense of humor. And uh, that's how it began years and years and years ago. You know, in the casting process, you're working on one character, you're working on another character. I remember just, you know, meeting Jake alone, meeting Damon alone. Oh wow! You know, I, I had, I'm the only person in the world who had not seen the pilot of the New Girl, so I didn't know they had worked together before. They were huge fans of each other. They were dying to work together, and so that was the dream. It was, you know, they just love being together. I mean, you can just, you can just see it. <laughs> I mean, I love Damon's laugh, like Damon's laugh in real life. Like you know, we'll be shooting, you know, on, on the stage so far away. I'll hear that laugh, just like this incredible cackle that always makes me laugh. And I know it's just, it's just them hanging out in the corner somewhere, and it's just so, so funny to hear them, you know, and, and the respect for each other and how they want to help each other, and it's just a beautiful thing to see, you know. That's not, that's not always the case, and it was, it was really nice to see them. I mean, what you see on screen is who they are. They're, they're, they're best friends. I really do love rehearsing. I love really do finding things. Um, as much as I can, and on the set, I we're always, especially in a movie like this, where it's very, very low budget, um, we're pressed for time. So I like in rehearsing, kind of figuring out what's funnier, what's better. I, I, I there's no ego in it. I, I don't care who comes up with the idea. It could be my mom, for all I know. But it's the idea of, you know, elevating the the situations as long as we keep it again, is grounded and is real. That, that, that's, that, that's, this is my tone of humor. I was brought up on Midnight Run and Risky Business and, you know, David O. Russell's Flirting with, that, Flirting with Disaster is one of my favorite comedies of all time. And that, to me, is a very, some people call it kind of wacky, but I think it's a very kind of grounded movie that, that, that's situational. When you've got improv guys, you know, from TV, who that's that's what they do every day. It's it's a blessing, you know. And and then and then you bring in, you know, guys like Rob Riggle and Keegan, who are just, you know, they're just, they're they're dynamite at it. They're just dynamite, and you you wonder how they, how they how they do it. You know, it's fantastic.